James Booker was a New Orleans pianist, um, rhythm and blues pianist, but really he could play anything from classical through, you know, pop. Uh, he was an absolute genius. And when I moved to New Orleans in the late 1970s, I was lucky enough to hear him play live a number of times at the Maple Leaf Bar. And I knew I was in the presence of an absolute, of greatness, of genius. I, I never heard anything like it before or since. You know, that word soul is a good one, you know, for, for describing whatever it is that, you know, you feel in the presence of, of you know, someone that gifted. Or something. It, it reminds you that, you know, just everyday experience and material things, you know, aren't all there is to life. You know, that, that there's, you know, there's something greater than that, that, you know, that a musician like that can, can kind of, you know, make you feel while he's playing. That absolute gift, you know, I mean, time just stopped when he played. You were, you know, you were just transported to another world. I identified so strongly with him, you know, with his, with his gift and with his tragic life, and um, he kind of haunted my poems for years afterward. I have two poems that are about him, and he shows up, you know, he does little cameos and other poems besides these two. Booker is dead, but I still go sit on the maple leaf patio among the palmettos and elephant ears to listen to music and drink a few beers and check on the pink hibiscus tree firing its blossoms like flares at sea late in the year. Mention his name and the bar help repeats the same handful of stories. How he vomited on the keys one night and Big John had to clean it up with a bar rag. How the dope arrived by White Fleet Cab. How he stood up once with his pants seat shitty. Beauty is truth, but truth is not pretty. When he would play, you would never know if you were actually going to hear music or not, because sometimes he would rant. He, he, was, a, he was a genius. He knew many different foreign languages. I don't think he'd ever been you know, beyond high school, but he spoke lots of foreign languages. He knew philosophy. He would sometimes just go on you know, rants about <laughs> life and and. And when he did play, you know, no one had ever heard anything like it. He was, what he could do with his hands. Many people, many, many trained musicians have listened to recordings of him and said, who's the second pianist playing with him? Because it sounds as if he has four hands. And, you know, he can segue from Chopin to, you know, Barrel House Blues with, you know, with his, with his own spin on it. Um, it's, you just know, you know, when you're in the presence of, of greatness, when you, you know, when you listen to Beethoven or, or you listen to Booker, you know, it's, it's that same overwhelming feeling. And he hasn't been well known, you know, beyond New Orleans, you know, partly because he died young, um, because he recorded, you know, in the age of vinyl. Um, he, he, there have been musicians who have tried, you know, to spread the word about him. Harry Connick Jr., you know, in, in interviews, always gives credit to Booker, you know, for teaching him, you know, much of what he knows as a musician. But, um, you know, I think this documentary is probably going to, you know, finally help, help, you know, bring his name to a wider audience. Sometimes I think we're all just roaches in God's kitchen. James Booker died last week like a roach his belly full of poison. God went on dusting his shelves with coke and heroin. Still, James beat death like a roach when he was 10, dragged by an ambulance until the bone inside one leg was fine white powder. That night when God came home from work, he clubbed all movement on his kitchen counter. I've had two roach men in the South they are the agents of God. One found a roach alive in a tumbler turned on a shelf in a beach house locked since the summer. He began to let them thrive. The latest searches for eggs like a scientist blasting a nest in my liquor cabinet, the baby scuttling up the glass cliffs of the amaretto. He makes me think that we are brother to the roach the way we run toward darkness on our shattered knees. 
James Booker played the piano like a god, except that gods are dull as roaches when it comes to making songs. Oh, Prince of Peace, if you're so hot, let's hear you play Prince Booker's blues. A man can live on music as a roach can live on glue, no matter what you do. His life story is very inspirational. You know, he, he nearly died in an accident when he was younger. He, you know, he overcame, you know, a prison record for drugs. He, he you know, he, he um, came out of, you know, very difficult circumstances to make his music. He was, he was inspired and um, he, he, he's just a remarkable, a remarkable figure. And um, I'm just hoping that the documentary, you know, makes more people aware of that.